Hello there. Thanks for clicking. Now we've been leaving our carpenter ants for a while, but now it was time to check in on her, see how things were going for her. When we looked in, we noticed she had been pulling at her cotton wool. We hadn't seen this type of behaviour before. What is going on? Is she stressed? Is she too hot or cold? We need to figure this out. We also noticed something pretty bad. I'll explain later. But the good news is that the girls are looking good and healthy. We just moved them into a new clean test tube. The other had a lot of mould. The ants are so caring to each other. They're certainly a tight family. Super interesting to watch. This is their very first taste of honey. Organic, locally sourced. Just a drop. It was actually harder than it looks to just put this wee drop in. And within seconds, this curious little sister makes an appearance. She smells something good. She's off to tell her sisters something nice has just landed mysteriously in their home. Sending pheromones. Found food! She's using her senses to locate this goodness of honey, this sugary bit of heaven. She's found little bits. Ah yes, there you go little sister. Enjoy your first taste of honey. She'll be filling up her social stomach and I bet a little bit of her personal stomach too. Cheeky. Oh, she's not interested in the little drops of honey. She wants that big drop. Oh, wonderful. Enjoy, little sister. Your first taste of honey. I think that other ant is so content just with the little drops of honey. She's licking it clean. I bet she's never tasted anything so sweet and so nice. Ah, finally, her sisters came and joined her. Oh, I love watching this. I could spend hours fascinated with these ants. I never thought I would be so interested in ants until I got my own ants. And you can see, you know, their interactions with each other, their fantastically complicated social structure, how clean they are, how they take care of their environment. I find it fascinating. Don't you? What's your favourite thing about ants? If you have ants, what, what type of ants do you have? These carpenter ants were our very first ants. We've had problems, but it's all part of the whole process of having ants as pets. The, the very first time I took a macro lens and pointed out at these ants, I was just blown away. I mean, the, the, the detail, I mean, it's just fantastic that creatures like these in their billions, trillions, are all over our planet doing their thing. They are taking in as much honey as they can then head off back and feed their larva, sisters and queen. I'm trying to get as close as possible to the ants. I mean, I don't want to have them for an extended period of time under these bright lights, obviously. So I try and limit the filming to maybe, you know, five minutes or so. Now, I said earlier, this is the very first time having some honey. Next feed is going to be some protein. I was thinking some nuts. What, what do you guys think I should feed my ants next? Let me know. Hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll receive my first 5x macro lens and that should allow us to get even closer view of these uh, fantastic ants.
The Queen didn't seem interested in what her daughter had for her. We did wonder why the reason would become apparent pretty soon. To me, it was like the Queen was saying to her daughter, don't feed me, feed your sisters, feed the larva. We never get tired of this. How can you get tired of this? It's fascinating to watch. Ah, there she is, feeding her sister some of that honey. She's just sucked up into her social stomach. Oh, I think she likes that. You can see her licking her lips. Do ants have lips? No, I don't think so. And they keep on sharing. Never ending. Fantastic. I bet you that honey's all gone in a couple of hours. Oh, maybe one of you guys or girls can help me understand. Now after the ants had had all that honey, I noticed they had went into some sort of food coma. I mean, all the ants were just paused, frozen. Can somebody explain this to me? I mean, look at this ant, it's frozen. <laughs> Let's go back in time a little bit. This is the same family. Look at her eggs. She has a developing cocoon, you see it? Why didn't we see the cocoon in the new filming? What happened? Okay, a little closer. You can see the developing cocoon. And we think this is that same cocoon. She ate it and some of her eggs. Bit frustrating. One larva, that's all we have left. Bit frustrating. Any suggestions? Well, she had moved all the cotton wool she had pulled out to the other end of the test tube, <laughs> the trash area. And the good news is, she's actually laid one new egg. It must have been all that good honey last night. Thank you all. Thank you.